Welcome to Tech Tuesday. I'm Mark Ladwig, and we're going to continue this week on tongues. Um, one of the things that always seems to happen to skaters is they bend forward and they flex. You can see the tongue right here. See how it kind of drops down? And that happens on pretty much every kind of boot, and especially as they get older. Like this is my old boot. You can see it's it's still firm in the base, but it, it lost some support over flexing. Um, but I'm going to show you two quick trips, tip, <laughs> two quick tips to show you how you can easily adjust an older boot with a tongue that's kind of starting to press down on the tongue. Usually if you're filling up the volume in the bottom, if you've got a full, you know, full shaped foot, you'll prevent that. But sometimes, especially with little kids, if you oversize the boot but it's falling down on the tongue, you can do this little quick little trick and, uh, and then have it uh, fixed for them. And then you can always remove it later. So first thing you need is a pliers. I like to use a paper clip and then a really good knife with a sharp new blade. So first thing we're going to do, we'll do one without any material. See a lot of times that there's sometimes stuff you can utilize on certain brands of boots. But uh, you take your knife and I go about a width of the finger and I'm going to push down through the tongue. And <laughs> this is always my favorite part. It scares most skaters because they're like, ah, and you can see I have to go through all the way through the, you can see a little bit of the foam there. Just make sure it's just cut through. And usually you won't have any problem with um, shredding or whatnot because the laces are gonna come through this um, thread it. All right, so first I'm gonna make my like my needle. And so I take the paper clip, extend it out the one side, and then I extend the other. I like to make mine in a curved shape so I can get through it like like this. And then I just pinch this down, and you can use this too, using your needle nose, pinch the bottom of it just a little bit more. See, made a little, a little uh, personal needle to thread it. See that? I'm gonna straighten that up just a little bit so that it, uh, so that it doesn't align with it. There you go. Ta-da! And then, and that'll be used to, to thread it. So, I'm gonna close my knife again. I keep forgetting to put this away. <laughs> All right, so, I get my first lace. I've already cut my, my notches. You can see them, they're right here. About finger width apart. I'm gonna put my lace in this one. Just kinda slide it back in so it kinda sits like that. Go through with the front of my needle. And this is where I usually get stuck and I end up using my pliers. I'll grab the pliers on the inside, pull my needle up to the front in here. Now I can really crank on it once I get it all lined up. See, I got it all the way set, all the way through. And so I can use it and pull it through. Sometimes it gets stuck, I'll even roll my needle over so I can pull tightly through. Oops, there's the other side. See, both sides of that little head came through, so now I can pull on it and pull it through. It takes a little bit of muscle, but I know we're strong skaters. So, so then once it's through, I can pull it. There we go. Use my hands. Totally winged it up, but you know, it's a paper clip, so. So now, back on the boot. So now you can see, it's gone through the side, through my loop, lace loop, and now I gotta come back through the other side. So, gonna set me up on my hook. You can, you can see my little slit here that I made. Gonna slip it through on this side. And if you have to, you can always stick your needle nose through the hole, and that helps widen it up in the one spot. Helps guide you through. See? Helped guided me through on that. Make sure I got my lace on there. There we go. Grab my pliers again. Help me pull it through. Oops. Got part of it through, but not all of it. So I'm going to reset my needle. Go back through this way. And as they say, there's a hundred ways to skin a cat. But uh, this is the way I found it's most successful to 
do these. See, so I got both sides of the needle through the bottom, and then I can just easily pull it through. Ta-da! And now I gotta go back with the other side from the other one. So I start outside, of course. I, I like to move, you take the lace you just did, and usually with gravity and everything, um, I take the lace I just did and usually try to put it up as high as I can so I can slide the new lace underneath it so it keeps the hole open and obviously, like I said, gravity tends to let everything fall down, so going right underneath it gives me the best opportunity to get it through. Got both parts of my needle through, just my pliers, pull it through, that one's easy. To get it going, and I'm gonna open this one up just a little bit more. And uh, got it through my eyelet. Try to go underneath it again. So get it. And I'm gonna preset this before I start cranking on it to get it through with both parts. There we go. That's through. Just pull it out on it. Now before I start lacing it up, show you. You can see, I'm gonna hold the laces through here. But as you hold the laces and as you'll be tightened in, as you push down, you've got this part holding up the tongue and it prevents any slide down, it prevents any true falling on it. See that? All right, and then when you've got it through like that, just go back to doing it. And always check, I know Adea has their, uh, their method for putting the laces in over top. And then same thing. There's different ways to do different ones. So we'll just do up a couple and show you how it, it goes. All right, we'll do the other side here. <laughs> Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Washing hands. I always, when I do up laces, regardless which pattern style I do, I like to keep going the same. See how this one has this side over top? So as I'm going up, I always double check to make sure I uh, lace the same way it's been going up the whole pattern. All right, I'm gonna tie this around the back here just to give a simulated feel. <laughs> but you can see from earlier, as I was here, see this helps hold it from falling down. Right there, see that? Just keep it up and then of course if it's not working you just pull it out and then the foam's all there all right so sometimes brands have overlay material and you can do the same kind of stuff with material that's on top of the tongue and this is easy too because you can slice in here see that and because these materials are laminated with the stitching you just go in like that one with this one, I sometimes will use a flathead screwdriver. And then I can go across. See that? I'm still going to use um, the needle that I made earlier with the paper clip. But doing it this way, now I know that it's all the way through. So there's that. The nice thing about this is you only have to do it once, you're not doing it four times like you saw me before, going out, in, out, in. So I'm setting my needle in, straighten it out a little bit more, that might help. There we go. I'll just use my hands on that one. There we go. Now, going this way, gravity I'm going to put down so I can slide over top of it and keep it wider. A little different technique, but uh, it works as well. See? Same kind of thing. See, now you got that to hold the material. You see? Helps hold it on top. So as you're doing that press down, sh 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 nothing to pull in. So this is just a quick trip, quick tip. 
so that you can stop tongues from falling down. So just adding that slice, putting the laces under and through. It's uh, very effective. Uh, I know last week we showed you how to put in hooks, but uh, this is a good solution on all brands just to stop it because sometimes everything's working right, but you're just feeling that top of the tongue and you just need it to stop it sliding, and that's a, a good little uh, trick. One note of caution, um, changing a boot like that will <laughs> void warranties. You're always best to go back to your shop, go back to your retailer, uh, check in with the manufacturer first, okay? Take care.